hello. Um, now, I, I, I know I keep going on about Russian propaganda. I think there's another uh, instance of it now. It doesn't seem to have reached uh, Western news um, outlets yet, uh, but there is talk emerging uh, through uh, the Russian news outlets, um, Interfax, TASS, uh, Novosti, that um, uh, Russia attacked Chernobyl um, and presumably uh, also the, um, the, the, the working nuclear power station, uh, Zaporizhia uh, power plant, which it now has in, under complete Russian control, uh, it attacked these places because um, allegedly the Ukraine was developing a dirty bomb, a dirty nuclear bomb, um, and doing so at Chernobyl. Um, there's no way of confirming whether this story is true or not true. My suspicion is it's not true. Uh, if it were true, I think we would have heard about this earlier. Um, and uh, I think this is to deflect criticism about the attack on the working uh, nuclear power plant, uh, Zaporizhia, um, and uh, the missile attack on that plant, which um, caused alarm across the world. The, um, the rumours that are coming out are that the next um, attack will be on the Khanif or the Khanif hydroelectric power station. Um, so again, further damaging the um, basic civilian infrastructure um, of Ukraine. Um, and once again, I don't see how uh, these can be um, identified as military targets. Um, and equally, I am shocked that Russia has not um, has, 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 has not followed through and um, and upheld the ceasefire and allowed these humanitarian uh, corridors to function properly. Um, as I said in the last post, uh, there should there should be protests across Russia and across the world by two o'clock today. Um, that means probably they've already started. If they're going to start, um, they may of course be suppressed in Russia.